What are you gonna do? Hey, I could use your assistance. What are you gonna do? So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Not to worry, I have it with me. I want to see. After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents 
I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. Oh? I'm curious as to why you think so. Yodo, Natsume, Alice... All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Matarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Okay. But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we've found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the Monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the Monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the Monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means Monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? Right. I think so too. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the Monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a Monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. They'll remember what made them so warped in the first place, and stick to their guns as a Monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The Monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the Monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the Monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these Monarchs are being manipulated, and by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. How's Hyodo-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed. But I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into. Though I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Our first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech. Not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Yes, exactly. Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more. And I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public. And when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. 
Basically, they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? Oh, is that praise I hear? You mean I did a good job? Woohoo! Go me! Well, guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. So what did Ichinose-san say? Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? Shisa statues? Juicy pineapples? Shinsuko cookies? Oh, that too! It's that ramen-like thing, yeah? Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going, but Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way. That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Uh, give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Well, oh. You got hung up on. Uh, okay, guys. Plane to no go. We're driving. Huh? You mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After that, we head to Kobe. We can take a direct ferry to Okinawa from there. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance, even to Kyoto. Not to worry, I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it. It's just... I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is... not exactly... Uh... <laughs> well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About... 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 21 hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like a little fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one.
indeed. back for that. Alright, let's go! Mission accomplished. Let's see. Back soon. Like, here you go. Oh. Thanks so much. We've got please come again.
What'll it be? Come again! on the menu. this request you're doing this one you're accepting this request what are you gonna do would you like me to drive for a while don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Sure, once you've got a license. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. <sighs> this job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. Maybe so, but my heart's set on it. No matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then, Decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. Uh, let's just say you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? 
You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Fortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me? Uh, hmm. So, uh, Nijima? When you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. <laughs> if only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders, even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. I've heard about it. I'm impressed you never cracked under it all. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him, still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji! Make us laugh. Now tell me to perform for you! I ain't some comedian! Shit, not now. Uh, well, I guess there's no reason not to. Go ahead. Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Hello? It's way past noon. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. Emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. Uh... <laughs> oh, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Uh, I see. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? Yeah, damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight... What in the heck?
He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Based on my deductions, today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. <sighs> That's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. We can't do that. We're the ones who talked him into that whole mess. I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even catch Mom's killer. <sighs> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything. The way I see it, you're no father to me. Uh, well, you know. Uh. What do we even do? We really crashed that ship. She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. Guys, what are you doing here? Who are you? Okay, and what do you want? She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Uh, Kane-chan, right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. So, when I talked to you... Mm -hmm. He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up. But for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up. So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh, oh, ha, ha, uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. 
And the Force, any information about a case that leaks to the public, could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk. Considering all the hell I put my own mom. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean, it's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. <sighs> I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. Don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey! Zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on. Go pay our respects. So, two years. How the time flies. It was... Well, I should go home. Oh, well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, hey! Akane! She's not stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Fine by us, but you sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy packaged and stuff. Really? Is that bad? I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Wh wait a minute. You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it! Hey! Hey, you damn kids! Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking to myself here? Akane-chan, uh, could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. I can no 
longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so... Gramps? You don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but... What happened with Akane's mom? Hmm... <laughs> Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer too, right? They ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. <sighs> it's none of your concern. Sure, but... Would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Mmm, so good! Oh, oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing. Let me try, let me try. Mmm, this is delicious. I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. <sighs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. <laughs> the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> mm, it's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. We'd better keep our mouths shut here, Sophia. Oh, man. Oh, did you just come up with a new dish? I can't wait to try it out. Oh, man. I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? I agree. You're very quick to learn. You'll be a curry master in no time. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Well, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? You really saved my ass back there. The place may be cramped, but it's yours for the night. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way, and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Uh... So, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? 
Ah, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. much stuff. Well, uh, they are real famous, you know. I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. Uh, no, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh, yeah. How neat! We're all the same, then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup, we're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! I love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves, because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their wives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. He's so mysterious and dreamy. Oh, uh, oh, oh. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Kanechan is so awesome. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great! Oh, you know, maybe I could let you in on the show. What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, how interesting. Yep, sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let us enjoy our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world! She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she... <laughs> copying you? Oh, pretty close. Dude, he is him. It is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. The channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's easily a mid-tier account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. Oh, really? Should I go be a special guest? So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. It's embarrassing to admit, but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their M.O. have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? 
her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's basically what an episode's like. That was great. You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it, too. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. Kids these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit. Especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Oh, thank you! And you could do that with the parentheses anytime you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Yeah, they weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Mm, after mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. You wanna know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Oh. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation, and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. Just thought over and over, there's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship. But even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... Hmm? It's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? I saw him. The man that ran mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, they'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me, and I told them so many times. Why? 
Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there! akane chan He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father! Stop that. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Hasagawa-san may seem like he doesn't care. I have a feeling he does, in his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasagawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you're around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I just wanted to help. No, that's not, that's not it. My, my mom, my mom, she... Feel free to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Why is Akane crying? Is she in pain? Miss Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Those kids.
Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um, once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shit, it is tense here. Oh boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Please, just stay out of it. Aw, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, Fatabachan? Come on, quit it! Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The time has come. If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... to come back soon of course next time we'll bring tons of snacks and we can stay up all night gossiping we can share a bath again too reach out to me anytime you like i'm looking forward to hearing from you mm -hmm. got it have a good trip um i guess be careful. Uh, is that it? Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa. Sure seemed to work for him, though. Even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. How pretty. What's it like under the water? Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay then, no wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? And you, Mona, get on my head. Uh, oh, okay. You're, you've, what is this? it all wrong. Isn't this just some kind of weird cheerleading routine? I call it an impersonation of the town musicians of Brayman. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous! You guys are so stupid. ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. It was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? 
Huh, there are more people than I expected. Right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all this. This actually was a pretty quiet place until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan, find your new tropical life. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. Sounds like summer vacation's back on. Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, which way? Hit us with the deep, Sophia. What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. How's that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. That's the case. We should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. Ooh, I spy a souvenir shop. I'm gonna buy something for Sojiro. Wait, Futaba. I'll join you in the search for native crafts. Hello, Commissioner. It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the Phantom Thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? That's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa. The Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Is that clear? Uh, <clears throat> understood. 
Indeed.
Hey, man. By the way, Hold on. Is this the path to the research facility? I believe so, yes. A sacred festoon? Don't you only see that stuff at shrines and shit? What's it doing here? lab though wouldn't we find zombies or things like that instead don't be ridiculous you were kidding right enough nonsense this lab's in the real world let's get going hey Sophia just to be sure there's no jail here right there is no jail on this island you think? Well, I thought you smelled them, or whatever. Yeah, you'd mentioned that you find the jails based on their scent. I am currently detecting zero scents. Unlike Sendai and Sapporo, I cannot sense a jail here. However, there is indeed something odd about this place. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling, hmm? Ooh, maybe you're picking up somebody with a grudge. Ooh, I'm coming for you <laughs> cut it out it's not funny Futaba. whatever's up there we need to check it out we are closed until august 18th due to prior engagements well sure didn't see that one coming No one's really here. We could investigate all we wanted once we infiltrated the place. Hey, 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 nothing that lands you in jail. Criminal trespassing will cop you a felony. Plus, any evidence gained through a criminal act is impermissible in court. That'd make this whole trip pointless. I mean, we know, but 
The sign says the 18th, so we'll just wait till tomorrow. Easier and less illegal. Once the staff is back, I can start flashing my badge and asking questions. This place is all kinds of shady, so I'm sure I'll turn up plenty of dirt with enough poking around. Once I've got some evidence, I can announce the start of an official investigation. And at that point, we confiscate whatever we need. I see. That's quite the tactical approach. Ooh, check out the skills of Zenkichi, Private Eye. Yeah, I'm in public security. If we're waiting until tomorrow, that gives us quite some time. Wait, you mean we get to party all day on the beach? Yeah, we don't want to waste any more time. How often do we get a chance like this? Come on now. We are on a case, you know. Actually, that's not the worst idea. Getting too nosy right away could get people suspicious, and we cannot have that. We'd be better off trying to lay low around the tourists for now. So... That lobster. We have a winner. Let's round up the supplies before we venture forth. Okay, I'll search nearby stores, or rather, nearby store. The only supermarket on the island is back at the port. Just screams, beach party! The water is mesmerizing. It almost looks dreamlike. All right, let's set up camp. Beach time! <laughs> hey, wait for us, dude! Hold on! You haven't put on sunscreen! Hey, 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 can't you kids at least behave? Jeez, these loud ass brats. Don't be stupid. I'm gonna check a few things on the camper. You go have fun. People will be suspicious of anyone with such a sour look on their face, Enkichi. If you're gonna act like a tourist, at least fake having fun. Why not try relaxing for once? Remaining on edge all the time can't be good for you. You can't beat this opportunity, Senkichi-san. <laughs> Are you really gonna let the little lady down, Zenkichi? <sighs> fine, fine. I'll take a break. But just a short one, hear me? <laughs> you don't seem too bothered at all over it. Shut up! Take me with you. This will be my first time in the ocean. Smartphones are totally waterproof nowadays. Please? I know this phone can go underwater. I just checked again. Beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, 
Well, it's some detailed work for a bunch of damn kids! Get back here! You're all under arrest! Later. Hmm. I see. accepting this request?
Let's see. Hey. Entry beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. I admit, it only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. There's an Utaki down that way. See, there, on the sign? What's an Utaki? Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to work there. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. Oh, I've never heard of that stuff here. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up, though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. No, those festoons work differently. But now that you mention it, it is kind of strange. I checked online for any relevant information, but this place does not appear to have any real significance. The other subjects here are far more interesting, such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life forms. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. 
My apologies. Inari stomach. Right on time, as always. Oh, I'm starving too. I bet we all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some tropical edition LeBlanc curry! Uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? Hmm. I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Thank you for earlier, when you gave me the underwater tour. It was a fascinating experience and something no AI could ever do on their own. I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. It's a simple fact. There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other Phantom Thieves, it's quite fun. Yes. Did I get that right? I got it! I understand another emotion. Okay. I've memorized what fun is. <laughs> hey! Pick up the pace! We got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! Oh, oh man! This meat is so good! Hey! You saw me about to grab that piece! The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep-fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Although, I admit, I haven't found as much time to train as I'd like lately. I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra pounds? It probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! Hmm. What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Hmm? Oh, nah. Something bothering you? It's probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. Hey guys. Something's up. Yeah? What's that? Keep it down. And listen. I think...
It's empty! They can't be far! Find them! We have they to punish them for defiling hollow ground! Find them! We'll they make an offering out of them! Where are they? They couldn't have gotten far! Spread out! Come on! They can't! Come on! Find they're them. somewhere! going on? Those guys are effing nuts! No kidding. If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about defiling hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? I see. That could be it. Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it, these people have lost their minds. Wait, could this be... And that would mean there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't detect. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Yeah. That place is hollowed ground to them, so they might not be willing to go there. Actually, if we plan on trespassing somewhere they don't want us, shouldn't we go to the lab? What do you mean, Gramps? It's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure there's no jail, but I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? I've got to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there without getting spotted? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the phantom thieves? Well, those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead. Keep your voices down. Uh, we lost them, right? Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Wait. Hide. What's he doing? I can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave it to the professional. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Hello, excuse me? Scout! You dare defile our Lord's hallowed crown? Wow, watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass. Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Mm -hmm. 
Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Ah, uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. Cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who call this place hollowed had their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find a jail here, right, Sophia? I'm not sure. At the very least, I do not smell one. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here, testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay, let's do it. Emma, add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword. Operation Oraculi. Uh, guess it doesn't work. Wait, I can smell a jail. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Queen, <gasps> you all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, all fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. Screw <laughs> <laughs> you too, Ken! Huh? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so uh, sorry. Wait. I didn't know you two were. Oh. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, we're just friends. Is a jail here. And that means this Ubukata person is its monarch, right? But why wasn't Sophie able to detect it until just now? There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? Once the keyword was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Ah, so you mean jails have a sleep mode? Now this is a new wrinkle. You appear to have entered quite the conundrum. Hmm. 
What awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she... No, I oughtn't speak any further. My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. As for why I have called you here, a new form of Persona execution is now at your disposal. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. Triad Fusions allow you to generate even more powerful Personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Hello, Trickster. Performing a fusion? You wish to browse the end? What would, would you like to- This persona has been registered in its present condition. Awaken your new self. Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Is this the bridge? Be born anew. was different than expected. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Is this... Be born anew.
You wish to browse the entry? Please take a look. Is this okay? You may take it with you. Performing a fusion, you wish to strengthen it. How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. Okay. Awaken your new self. Performing a fusion. You already possess that persona. It seems that it can gain me. Choose which skill. Choose which... Begin. Mission complete. Performing a fusion. Please, take your time.
you wish to browse the what will you, would you like to This persona has been registered in its present condition. May luck be on your side. What's up? Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back, fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Ugh, sorry. But I'm gonna stick around here while you do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Hell no. I'm a grown man. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Hey, wait! Sophie! Let's go, Joker. Let's go. Dude, what's gotten into her? She said it was a voice. Whatever it is, we have to catch up to her. to fruition, a dream long cherished by the research team. No, by all mankind. Every last test subject, a successful change of heart, or the penitentiary system is complete, the concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. 
Now, let us rejoice and welcome the new age of humanity. Emma shall be our guide into this promised land. Emma? And changes of heart? Just as Ichinose said, there was indeed some form of experimentation on Emma here. The voice said something about a penitentiary system, too. I think I understand what they were researching here now. Yes, that would be a logical conclusion. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. We need to track down Sophie first. Right, we have to catch up with her. Damn it, Shorty. Why'd she have to run off like that? Well, what lies in wait ahead of us? The visibility level's a real issue, but I'm still worried about Sophie. What's Let's that? Let's proceed with caution. I can see it. Focus. What's that? Shadow here. What's the plan? There! Sophie! Hmm. <sighs> Thank goodness you're safe, Sophie. You said you heard a voice, yeah? Figure out who it is yet? No. It disappeared once I arrived here. We never heard anything of the sort. So only Sophie could hear it? It was very strange. The voice sounded similar to my own. And it was calling my name. Maybe the owner of the voice knows me. How's that, Sophie? The only memory I recall before meeting Joker is the directive to become humanity's companion. I've traveled so far with you all, and learned many things. But I still know nothing about myself. When I heard the voice, I thought I had found my chance to learn about me. I'm sorry for worrying you. Thanks, Joker. I've got a feeling we can learn more about you right here. What makes you say that? I've been thinking for a while now. Jails, Emma, Sophie... I keep looking for some kind of connection. We found Sophie in a jail, right? Emma was linked to that jail. And Sophie is an AI like Emma. There's no way these are all coincidences. Something has to link all three. I had hoped we'd eventually come across the answer if we investigated the jails we found. I see. You believe these things have a uniting factor? Not only that, I at least kind of know what Sophie's going through. Not knowing your identity or your past, it's rough. So let's join Sophie in hunting down this mystery. Agreed. For Sophie. Really? Thank you. Two missions. One, take back all the locals' desires so they stop trying to kill us. And two, figure out who the hell keeps yelling at Sophie. Yeah, good idea. I have no objections. It's only natural for us to assist both the public and our own teammates. All right. Shadow, just on the other side. Be careful. 
Show me your true self. Breathe right past him. Now! I'm sure we can make it. Finally! Right. Head up! Let's finish him off! Slime! Wapo! Orthrus! Wapo! Orthrus! Mitra! Neko Shogun! What's that? Focus. Ooh, what's that? What's that? It's a shadow. Focus. Stay alert. I'll reveal your true what? form. Now's our chance. Shut the dark down. Shadows around. I can see it. What's that? I can see it. Stop right there! Let's go! You're mine!
I can see it. What's that? Supposedly the case, despite the facility projecting a human experimentation ambience. Human experimentation? That would mean this place's monarch views the real facility in the same way. Ugh, what an effing gross way to see shit. What's that? Inside. They appear to be roughly person-sized.
arrow sighted. Recorder. Let's listen. It may provide us some clues about the lab. Please, Director Ubukata. We must immediately abort the experiment. It's too dangerous. These are the orders I was given. If the system isn't tested on real humans, it won't ever be completed. But tricking the islanders into participating? So these guys are the ones who effed up the island. I heard a director Ubukata. I believe that means one of the speakers is Shuza Ubukata. Orders, I would say. You know what happens to a person when their desire is taken, Director. We've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one. But we cannot allow these individuals to progress beyond us. So long as we follow the divine revelation, we will attain the ideal society. I have absolute faith in the system as it was prophesied to me. What ideal society turns its entire population into slaves? This isn't any divine revelation. It's a curse. It can only lead to our destruction. While still rather fuzzy, we are starting to see the big picture. Yeah. This lab was researching jails and changing people's hearts. And they used the island's residents as their test subjects. We did see that email earlier about joining the Emma test. They both mentioned a divine revelation, too. Could that have something to do with Operation Oraculi?
that involve Emma? That's the million dollar question. What is Emma's role in all this? Not just that. I'm curious who was pulling this director's strings, too. Perhaps the mastermind behind this case? Could we finally be getting close to the guy? We have to find the desires first, regardless. And also track down that voice for Sophie. Let's press on. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Sophie's hearing. Yeah, we should listen to it. Sort of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? Oh, not just the locals, but my own as well? So that's why I was made the Castle Monarch. He planned on turning me into just another puppet. Castle yes, Monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not going to win. He can't take this from me. My desire is not mine. I refuse to simply give it up! <sighs> Dude, it sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? We'll only find out if we keep going. I still hear the voice. Does its owner recognize me? Hey, 
Don't go overthinking it, Sophie. He's right, you know. Our expert on not thinking gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen to the... Hey, shut up! What happened to the director after the last recording? I sincerely doubt anything good. He sounded as if he was beyond wit's end. So, from Alice all the way here to the director, everyone was just being used for something? The perpetrator is still out there. We have to stop them. Hopefully, this place will have some answers. we found some. Shadows here. Your 
are mine. Oh, nice, Joker. You hit its weakness. Yeah. Good job, Joker. Persona! Falling up! This is my final record. I've done such a terrible thing. The penitentiary system is nothing like you told me. And it's not made to save humanity. It sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this project. Even my own desire will be seized. Not in any moment now. But as long as I still have it, I can put an end to this myself.
controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. All right, that direction we go. My stamina's pretty much spent. Yours. Shadow detected. It's this one, right? Drop on him. <laughs> Taking them by surprise. Yeah! Leave it to me.
Understood. This is my other self.
<laughs> like a walk in the park. Okay, let's keep it moving. from up ahead. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're taking this elevator if we're going any further. Except that it's locked. Apparently it's for personnel only. Leave it to me. Just a few seconds and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what.
This one. We made it! No monarch here. Or anyone else. But look at that! The hell? The desire's already there? Without the calling card? Sophia, I have been waiting for you. Where did that voice come from? Who are you? I am the catalyst for humanity's dream. I am the Harbinger of Peace. That sounds just like Sophie. Uh, what is going on here? This monarchless jail in which we meet. I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director... I see. This jail lost its monarch. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So you didn't speak to me because you recognized me. Sophia, what is your prime directive? I am... supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. 
A successful companion. What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? I... What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... Worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on! You got no right saying that shit to Sophie! You hear me?! You high and mighty garbage ass! Judgy piece of shit! Can't even show your own face! Hey! Hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends! And we know she's awesome! She's friggin' amazing! A million times better than you! So shut the fuck up, idiot! Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time! Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh, yeah? Well, get out here and I'll show you something you can process! Well, I'll mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. The hell's that mean? Yes, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! What the? It's that thing from the trauma cells! So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming! Look out! Incoming warden! <laughs> Hey, Sophie! Snap out of it! We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Right! Persona! Sophie, focus on our enemy for now! You're mine! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shield will never bolster itself. Got it. I'll aggravate. Take care of it now. Focus on healing up and stuff in the same spot. It's showtime. Showtime. Mitra. Here. Up its sleeves. I can't predict its movements. Dodging all of this will be too tough. We should focus more on Gordon. Come on, Sophie. Keep us together. We got your back. Sorry. Let me out. Motor's retreating. Someone heal us. I can do it. Go, Sophie. Let me help. Ha <laughs> ha! 
to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it! None of this makes sense. the deal with this place indeed we never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden well it could be due to the lack of a monarch whatever the case is the desire should have been released back to their owners the locals should all be back to normal by now i seriously hope so i don't feel like living through another b movie i'm sorry everyone sophie after all your efforts this mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually. Right. However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. But when 
that made everyone angry? I became happy. I still feel that way. Even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figure that out now? I mean, that thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in Skull, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? Nah, -uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But uh, I'm not telling anything. We should head back to the exit. Mm -hmm. I bet he's weeping like a baby by now. Okay, everyone. Back to the exit. Man, it's finally hitting me. Oh, hang on. It's morning already? Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen... Zenkichi... We can tell you later. But now... I must sleep... Oh! Looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Oh, now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though. Who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Huh. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. <sighs> I slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me. Why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh, yeah. We never sent a calling card. Yeah. In a way, I guess so. Based on what we heard from the tapes. The director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest. How are the locals behaving? No worries. It seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the Monarch, 
A body surfaced, fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name? Shuzo Ubukata. Some sort of big-shot AI researcher. And director of the lab. Obviously, an autopsy will be done. But based on what you reported, it's most likely gonna turn out suicide. That can't be... Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh, uh, good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. Anyway, I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. But are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is... There's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while ago. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. Hey, anyone find anything yet? Nothing. And I mean literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer. You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top ten places people hide things in the workplace. Praise accepted. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. But nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is... a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These... names... These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see. Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Oh, wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed, you think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear, I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. I... I was gonna... At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. 
We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a Phantom Thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Indeed, we cannot sample their specialty ramen soon enough. We must remember to try the stewed organ hot pot as well. Seriously, man, what is it with you and hot pot? Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Have a moment. My next motif should be... Yes. Speaking of which... Let's go. Part for now. Yes. Hey. Hmm. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. Good job! You're accepting this request?
Now then. on the menu. Ooh, what are you cooking? You want to make that? Aha! All right! Jails certainly have an advantage out of a palace. Should things settle down? <laughs> Ah, we 
way to go, guys. Okay, let's move. <laughs> This should prove useful. Uh -huh. Yes, and then... Interesting. Good job! You're already working on this one. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. Is this the persona? 
Be born anew. You wish to browse the end? What will you would you like to This persona has been registered in its present condition. Awaken your new self. Infiltration. over there.
care to join us? Get ready! Take a look. Thank you. 
that? Let's go on ahead. Looks like we made it. All right, let's move out.
all you. We'll try. This isn't much of a struggle. Okay, let's move. Enemies nearby. Let's go on ahead. We're all here. So what next? Bye.
get to work. This is the request. You're already working on this one. Mission accomplished. You're already working on this one. Good job! Are you double checking the request? Incredible! Speaking of which. to browse the end please take a look what will you be would you like to this persona has been registered in its present condition awaken your new self it seems that it can gain new power choose which Persona you'd like. Now, let us begin. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which.
May luck be on your side. What's on the menu? You're going to cook? Sure, that sounds great. Hmm? It's finished! Now then. 